on behalf of research team of asset security we'll talk about the market outlook firstly indian indices are expected to open in the green as js nifty is trading have a 0.46 percent things to watch out for trump hinted at deal on chinese trade also president xi is in pink to proceed with measures that will further open up china on the corporate front hdfc has raised retail prime lending rate by 20 basis points effective from april 1 also, Orbindo Pharma has announced that it has settled suit with Neji Takeda over generic question of gout drug. Also, Vipro has announced that its fourth quarter net income to see 65 to 75 basis points impact on one of its clients filed for insolvency. Gravita India has started commercial production of PPCP granules at its Andhra Pradesh plant. On the thematic front, discuss about the uh, road infrastructure space, around 9,829 kilometers of national highways at a cost of 1.1 lakh crores were constructed in the country during 2017-18, 20% higher than the last year. This translates to around 29 kilometers of highways built per day, and a target of 40 kilometers per day will be achieved next year. Also, 17,000 kilometers of road land were awarded against 16,000 kilometers last year. Our pick in the road construction space is Dilip Bilkon, and we have a target price of 1,338 on Dilip Bilkon. On the technical front, Nifty opened on a flat note and extended its gain in initial hour. However, in the second half, it remained consolidated with a narrow trading range, 10,400 to 10,360 levels, indicating absence of strength. It closed at 10,379 with a gain of 48 points. Chart pattern suggests that the Nifty cross sustains above 10,400 levels. It would witness buying which would be indexed with 10,430 to 10,470 levels. However, if index sustains below 10,350 levels, it may witness profit booking which would take index to 10,320 to 10,280 levels. Stocks looking strong. So when Chennai Petro, Hindalco, IOC, Manpersen Beverages, ITC, M&M, Biocon, CESC. Stocks looking weak. Just dial, MGL, Tata Motor, DVR, and Infosys. USDNR opened with a downward gap. However, buying momentum at lower levels put it hi- higher to end in the day's high. It closed at 65.13 with a gain of 0.07%. Chart pattern suggests that if USDNR crosses and sustains above 65.2 levels, it would witness buying which would lead USDNR towards 65.3 to 65.4 levels. However, if USDNR breaks below 65.05 levels, it would witness selling which would take USDNR towards 64.9 to 64.8 levels. On the derivatives front, Nifty futures close at 10,392.1, increase by 0.38%, with 1.82% increase in open interest indicating long unwinding. FIs were net buyers in derivative segment to the tune of 689 crores. Among stock futures, MGL, Mindtree, Adani Enterprise have witnessed long build-up and measure strength in coming session. Stocks which witnessed short build-up are Balakrishna, Mariko, PVRN, Odirish Philip, and Miriam in coming session. So this is from RN. Thank you.